got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Rescue the Perishing Kids. I am so happy that you are here to spend this little time with us. Are you ready to learn about Jesus? Today, we are looking at God Calls Samuel. Yes, God Calls Samuel. Our scripture reading is taken from Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. And hear what it says. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Enjoy our program, boys and girls. Make your testifies of God. Yay! Hi again, boys and girls. I hope you can hear me, because rain is falling. But today, we are looking at one of my favorite nuts. Can you guess what it is? If you guess almonds, that then you are correct. <laughs> Hi boys and girls, are you ready to learn about almonds? Okay, let's go. Did you know that almonds contain vitamins, minerals, protein, and even fiber? And because of that, boys and girls, they offer a lot of good health benefits there are so many things that you can make with almonds did you know that you can make almond butter like peanut butter but an almond butter yeah you can also use almonds in dishes such as sweet bread you can use it in a crust for cheesecake, vegan of course, and so many things. Here in the Caribbean, we have local almond. It tastes very good, somewhat different, but very good. I know that almond trees here in the Caribbean, you mostly find a lot of trees close to the beach. Almond nuts are full of fats, which is good fats, which is the unsaturated fat. That does not mean, boys and girls, you can eat a whole lot because temperance in everything. Almond nuts is a very powerful cancer protective snack. Not only that, but it's good for your heart. And it also contains vitamin E. Now, boys and girls, I know if you are small, you may be saying, what auntie is telling us? All in all, almond nuts are very good for you so let your mommy and daddy get some almond nuts for you and every day after you have eaten you can take a few and eat it boys and girls continue to practice good health that we will remain healthy and strong to serve the lord let everything that has breath praise the lord Romans 12 21 do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil. With good, with good, overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome.
overcome my evil. But overcome is the wicked. Do not be overcome by evil. Do not be overcome by evil. But overcome is the wicked. Do not be overcome by evil. Wicked, wicked, overcome evil. Wicked, not be overcome by evil. Hi, brethren. Boys and girls, we are going on a hike today. Come along with us, okay? Hi boys and girls, welcome to craft time. Well, it's no surprise here what we'll be doing for our craft today, right? You guys got it right. A monkey, just like the one you're seeing on the screen. So come on boys and girls, let's see what we need. Okay, so we will need a black marker, right? You'll also need a scissors, you will need glue, and a pencil to draw. You'll need a straw as well. You can use a plain one or the ones that they have that can bend, right? But preferably a long straw. Also a strip of paper, 25 centimeters in length and five centimeters in width. You'll also need to start to draw the body parts. This year's oval shape will be for our, the belly, the body parts of the, the monkey, the head of the monkey in a round circle, 
the ears you're going to draw two ears a bigger one and a smaller one outer and inner part you're going to draw an oval shape like this that's to put the nose and the mouth of the monkey that we'll be drawing on two eyes and a strip of paper and that will be for the tail of the monkey so now what you will do you're going to pause the video you're going to draw out all the body parts of the monkey even a strip of paper the long one cut them out and let's get ready to make our monkey okay so we are going to cut now the inside you're going to cut it from here and you're going to cut going up not straight up oops i think i cut a little too much and you're going to cut the other side the same way going down just a little bit not too much okay so now what we're going to do we're going to take the bottom part where we cut in half that will be the feet of the monkey and we're just going to fold it in at the bottom just a little piece i'll show you when i'm finished like that and you'll do the same for the other part Okay, so when it's finished, we are going to stick our body parts. So we're going to go with our stomach first, the body. And we're going to put some glue on it. Put enough glue so that it will stick. Okay, boys and girls? Right, so we're going to stick it down like that. When it's finished, the next body part we are going to stick, we are going to put our ears on the head of the monkey right so we're going to take our head and we're going to also take our ears the outer part and the inner part right and we're going to put some glue i will show you put glue on the small piece i use white to put on my brown and if you don't have brown that's okay boys and girls i always say this is your craft so whatever color you want to use that will be up to you and it will be looking like this and I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to stick the other part as well because when I'm finished I'm going to take my ears and I'm going to stick them on the head right the bigger round circle great so it, it will look like this now I will take my glue and I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom there because we all know how our monkey ears are shaped right well some of them <laughs> And I'm just going to put it on this part of the head and when I'm finished I will take the other one and stick it as well great so it's coming in so it will look like that so now what I am going to do I am going to stick the head on the body here like that so I will take my glue so you can take your glue too at this time and you put a little bit at the bottom. If you want to stick, put glue on all over the head for it to stick flat down, you can do that too. I'll just be putting a little bit and I'm going to stick it down on this body part here. That will be the stomach, right? <laughs> yeah, great. And what do we do next, boys and girls? Hmm. Well, before we put our eyes, we are going to take our straw now mm -hmm, and we are going to stick it on the top here. So I will just take my glue and I'm going to put a little bit on the paper where we cut. So what you're going to do, you're going to put your glue and you're going to put your straw at the top there and you're going to make a fold so the top piece of the paper will stick at where you put the glue and you're going to fold the, the paper with the straw. And make sure that it could stick also you have to make sure that the straw can move as well right in and out so we're going to stick that there make sure that it sticks properly it may give a little trouble because mine is giving a little trouble to stick but we'll put it to dry and do the rest until it dries so we're going to take our eyes at this time and we're going to put some glue and we're going to stick it down on the face of the monkey and we'll do the other one as well great so we have our monkey's eyes yeah now we will take that piece of paper we drew which is to put the nose and the mouth and if you don't want to, to draw it out or you didn't you can draw it for yourself you can use your black marker 
and you can draw the nose and the mouth on to the paper itself if you did not cut out any right so i will just stick mine right here so that you can start seeing that it's looking like a monkey do you guys see it that it's looking like a monkey or is it just me hmm okay so i'm now i'm gonna take my tail so you can take a pencil or a pen and you can just wrap the paper around it all the way down so that when you finish and you pull out your pencil you get a, like a little curl at the bottom and you put some glue and we're gonna stick it on our monkey where the tail is supposed to be very good right at this time I will take my black marker so let me just cover that I will take my black marker and I will draw my nose and the mouth of the monkey and when I'm finished I will color my eyes and I will even outline the ears and the eyes as well Hey, so there you have it boys and girls our monkey I just have something I want to put on it a little leaf you'll see it in a little while you don't have to boys and girls but look at my monkey swinging <laughs> all right so take a look at how my monkey is looking when I put the leaf at the end there you have it boys and girls look at my monkey I hope you guys had fun time. When I go in the zoo, I love to go and see the monkeys. I love to see them. So until we meet again for craft time, God bless. Take care. Bye. Story time. We are reading from the Bible. 1 Samuel chapter 3. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. And it came to pass at that time, when Eli was laid down in his place, and his eyes began to wax dim, that he could not see, and ere uh, the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was and Samuel was laid down to sleep that the Lord called Samuel and he answered here am I and he ran unto Eli and said here am I for thou callest me and he said I call not lay down again and he went and lay down and the lord called called again samuel and samuel rose arose and went to eli and said here am i for thou didst call me and he answered i called not my son lay down again now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and went to Eli, and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. Therefore, Eli said unto Samuel, Go, lay down, and it shall be, if he call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hear it. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called as it at other times, Samuel. Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant hear it. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, 
at which both the ears of every one that hear it, it shall tingle. In that day I will perform against Eli all the things which I have spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knew it, because his sons made themselves vile, and he restrained them not. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever. And Samuel lay until the morning and opened the door of the house of the Lord and Samuel feared to show Eli the vision. Then Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son, and he answered, Here am I. And he said, What is the thing that the Lord had said unto thee? I pray thee, hide it not from me. God do so to thee, and more also, if thou hide anything from me of all the things that is said unto thee. And Samuel told him every width, and hid nothing from him. And he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seemeth him good. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did not let none of his words fail or fall to the ground. And all Israel, from Dan even to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoy our program today. See you next week. Like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul.